Turkey has marked a significant milestone in its quest for a robust, independent air defense system with a successful long-range test of the HISAR O medium-range surface-to-air missile. This test represents a key advancement in the development of Turkey's Steel Dome project, an ambitious national initiative to integrate various air defense assets into a unified real-time operational network. The HISAR O system designed to counter a wide range of aerial threats, is said to become a cornerstone of this multi-layer defense strategy. The HESAR O system, developed by Turkish defense giants Roketsan and Aselsan, is a medium-range surface-to-air missile system that can engage targets at ranges exceeding 40 km with exceptional precision. The missile features a vertically large design and is mounted on a Mercedes-Benz Zechos chassis. It boasts a minimum range of 3 km and can engage targets over 25 km away using an imaging infrared seeker, while its radio frequency seeker variant extends this range to over 40 km. The missile is capable of reaching a maximum altitude of 15 km, making it effective against fighter jets, cruise missiles, and drones. One of the standout features of the HESAR-O is its advanced detection and tracking capabilities. It can detect and track fighter aircraft at ranges between 40 to 60 km and can simultaneously track more than 60 targets. At the battery level, the system includes three missile launcher vehicles, each equipped with six ready-to-fire missiles, providing a total of 18 missiles per battery. When scaled to battalion level, the system comprises nine missile launcher vehicles, offering a formidable total of at least 54 missiles. The hisar os development and deployment are integral to Turkey's Steel Dome project, which aims to create a comprehensive air defense network that integrates short, medium, and long-range air defense systems into a cohesive, AI-powered operational framework. The project, approved by the Defense Industry Executive Committee, were rely heavily on a Saracen's expertise in defense electronics and sensors. A Saracen's role is particularly in developing the initial defense layer, which is designed to counter short-range threats within a 10 km radius. The steel dome will utilize artificial intelligence to provide real-time data to decision-makers, improving the speed and accuracy of responses to potential threats. This network approach is expected to significantly enhance Turkey's ability to defense against a variety of aerial threats, from low-altitude drones to high-flying cruise missiles. The first batch of next-generation hisar O system is expected to be delivered by the end of 2024, with further enhancements planned to extend its range and effectiveness. These upgrades will likely include advancements in missile guidance, propulsion, and sensor technologies, ensuring that the hisar O remains at the cutting edge of medium-range air defense. The HESAR-O's development is expected to play a pivotal role in safeguarding Turkey's airspace, particularly in regions with heightened security concerns. Its integration into the steel dome will provide a layer defense capability, with the HESAR-O filling the gap between short-range and long-range systems like the SIPR, Turkey's long-range air defense solution. Beyond its domestic role, the HESAR-O surface-to-air missile system 
have significant export potential. As countries around the world seek to modernize their air defense capabilities, the HESRO offers an attractive solution, particularly for nations that require a reliable, cost-effective, and versatile medium-range surface to air system. Turkey's growing defense industry has been increasing successful in exporting military technology, and the HSRO is likely to attract interest from countries looking for an alternative to Western or Russian systems. Turkey's experience with the acquisition of the Russian S-400 missile system, which led to its exclusion from the F-35 fighter program, underscores the importance of developing independent defense capabilities. The HSRO, along with other indigenous systems, positions Turkey as the key player in the global defense market, offering advanced air defense solutions that are not subject to the same political constraints as systems from other major producers. In conclusion, the HSRO medium-range surface to missile system is said to become a crucial component of Turkey's national defense strategy. With its advanced capabilities, integration into the Stereotome project, and strong export potential, the HSRO represents a significant step forward in Turkey's efforts to establish a robust and independent air defense network as the system continues to evolve, it will likely play an increasingly important role in both national defense and international military markets.